Communities within the Woolastook or St. John River watershed in New Brunswick are experiencing an increased frequency and intensity of climate change related events, including floods, ice storms, tropical storms, and wind storms. These extreme weather events lead to displacement of species, habitat loss, and ecosystem degradation. They also have significant community impacts, including negative health effects, infrastructure damage, and economic losses at the household, business, and community levels. In 2018, more than 12,000 properties along the river sustained damage from flooding, with some of those places being destroyed, deserted, or relocated. These issues are not unique to New Brunswick. Every year, communities across Canada experience increasingly extreme weather events as a result of climate change. By restoring nature and building resilient communities, we can limit our risks from climate change. In 2020, the insurance industry paid $2.4 billion in weather-related losses, and that ballooned by a billion dollars from just the year before. We are seeing a greater frequency of heavy rains, higher water levels in our uh, rivers and lakes, and excessive runoff due to urbanization, aging infrastructure, and the excessive use of concrete. All of this is contributing to flooding. Flood is the costliest, most frequent catastrophic peril that we see and we face in Canada today. Together with residents, governments and stakeholders, we are protecting and restoring natural systems. Together, we are building a new model for resilient communities by using natural infrastructure like wetlands and floodplain forests to buffer flood waters. Simple things such as naturalizing river banks, Protecting wetlands and ensuring that they are functioning properly is a good way of absorbing water and minimizing runoff. For individuals looking to do their part to protect their home, native rain gardens and permeable pavers can prevent runoff and pooling. This approach costs less than traditional engineered solutions and addresses the dual crisis of biodiversity loss and climate change. The grassroots relationship that RSA Canada and WWF Canada have enjoyed over the past several years emphasizes the importance of collaboration at all levels of government, community, industry, and individuals to drive the paradigm shift away from man-made solutions and towards more natural-based solutions. The time is now to continue that fight to combat nature with nature. With the support of RSA Canada, WWF Canada has brought together stakeholders within the watershed and national experts to develop collaborative and innovative approaches. We created a blueprint for municipalities looking to embrace adaptation and embrace the economic, social and environmental benefits of nature-based solutions. We connected diverse actors to overcome barriers to action. We have worked with partners at Brock University to understand what actors are doing where and how as it relates to flooding impacts. Understanding networks, knowledge mobilization, and collaboration leads to greater resilience while promoting what communities and individuals can do to reduce climate associated risks. Adapting to the effects of climate change can be daunting, but the communities of the Wollstock are proving that collaboration and nature-based solutions can help to create a future where nature and people thrive.